There is no denying that Mercedes-Benz is among the most noticeable and significant car brands in the world for auto enthusiasts. However, the Mercedes-Benz name is also closely related to the idea of a car. The historical importance of the brand even supports this. After all, the first individual in history to officially introduce the idea of a car to the general public was the German engineer Carl Benz, who officially filed an intellectual property rights for his gas-powered vehicle almost 135 years ago. After all, how on earth did Carl Benz come up with such a masterpiece? Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this. While you're there, click the bell button to be alerted when we upload something new. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up! In Kanjur Baden-Württemberg, Germany, on November 25, 1844, Carl Friedrich Michael Vance was born. Later, Carl adopted his father's last name, Ben, in accordance with German marriage custom. Carl Benz came from a very low-income family. His father passed away from pneumonia when he was only two years old. Carl Benz already was regarded as a progeny, so his mother Josephine Valentine worked hard to give her son a good education. Carl had the good fortune to study under Ferdinand Rettenbacher, whom was recognized as the father of scientific mechanical engineering very early in his educational career. Carl Benz combined his educational inspiration and ignored his desire to become a locksmith to follow in his father's footsteps. Carl Benn became interested in this industry at the age of 19 because his father was a locomotive driver. Carl Benz finished his education and started working right away. Carl Benz continued his training path for more than seven years while working for various companies, but he was ultimately unable to find employment there. Carl Benz finally made the decision to found his own business. In 1871, Carl Benz and August Richter founded a mechanical workshop, but after the workshop's first year, Carl Benz eventually realized that August Richter was unreliable and the business wasn't doing well. In 1872, Bertha Ringer, Carl Benz's fiance, purchased August Ritter's stake. Carl Benz might rely on a new owner. He started to work on several invention-related projects. Carl Benz filed a patent, the speed control system, in 10 years, but a fresh issue emerged. Instead of financial, it was a professional situation this time. The Benz pair had to establish a corporation in order to carry on with their pricey enterprise. As a result, they were forced to take this specific action and found the business gas motor as well as fabric Mannheim. There were many reasons why Carl Benz didn't like this action, but some of them were just too much for him. Even though he played a major role in the company's founding, he only received 5% of the stock. He was hired as a director but the position didn't give him the level of power he desired. The fact that other people were ignoring his ideas was the final straw. Carl Benz left the business after just one year for this one reason alone. Carl Benz was committed to launch a new business, but this time he really wanted to be around the right people, those who understood mechanical engineering at a fundamental level or even had a strong interest in it. Max Rose and Friedrich Wilhelm Esslinger Two business owners of a bicycle repair shop that Carl Benz discovered founded a company they called Benz & C. The business quickly experienced success and its staff grew to 25. Since the business was doing well and this company had been producing engines, Carl Benz turned his focus to his big dream, an automobile with an engine. In 1885, he was finally able to complete his work and patent the Benz Patent Motor Wagon, a freewheel vehicle with a gasoline-powered engine. Carl Benz is known as the father of the automobile industry because this design was the first motor business to ever receive a patent. During a public demonstration, Carl Benz's first model of the motor wagon bearing his patent soon encountered some difficulties. Carl Benz came to understand that the freewheel car was challenging to steer. He addressed the majority of them together in his subsequent model and continued to refine the vehicle. He modified his car and gave it the Model 3 designation in 1888. This vehicle pioneered the use of wooden wheels. The fresh model was created, but it wasn't tested out right away. Carl Benz believed it wasn't ready to drive until Bertha Benz, Carl Benz's wife, entered the scene without informing either her husband or the appropriate authority. Bertha Benz decided to take the model out from the garage and drive it. She took her two sons, Richard and O'Egan, on this trip because she wanted to see her mother. Without even realizing it, Bertha Benz set out on her journey to write history. She drove the first commercial vehicle ever on this trip. She was driving a car that her husband, Carl Benz, had built, but with every pebble, rock, and inch of the road she traveled, she unintentionally shaped the destiny of the auto industry. People witnessed this and were astounded by what they saw. 
After resolving the issue with her garter, she resumed her journey. Carl Ben's new vehicles and their modified versions were on display at the time in a constrained space. Carl Benz handled them as prototypes, so long trips were never an option. Bertha Benz was aware that her husband's creation was ready for use by the public. There were two additional reasons for the trip, in addition to Bertha Benz's desire to see her mother. One of Bertha's goals was to advertise the car to the public at large in a more sophisticated manner. After she returned from the trip, Bertha Benz updated her husband on the car's effectiveness as well as letting him know a few adjustments that needed to be made. She advised her spouse to use a third gear even though two gears were not enough for the car to climb. This trip was indeed a huge advertising success since many people saw her voyage and began to discuss about the car. The second reason, as we mentioned earlier, was to let Carl Benz understand that his discovery was ready for the world. She also demonstrated to her husband some adjustments she had to make during the trip, such as a quick performance exhaust fix and a braking mechanism made out of leather rather than wood. Bertha Benz's 104-kilometer journey launched the automobile industry and Carl Benz ended up taking off first ahead of everyone else. She also had shown her hubby her invention, brake linings. The topic of Carl Benz's patent automobile began to be discussed. His business saw a significant increase as a result. Engine sales were already Benz and C's line of work at the time. Carl Benz therefore realized they needed to grow their business as a result of the recent publicity and the limited supply for internal combustion engines. The number of workers at Carbon's business increased from 50 in 1889 to 430 in 1899. The largest automobile manufacturer in the world at the turn of the 20th century was Benz. At the start of the 20th century, Victoria and Benz Vallow were succeeding in the market, while Benz and Syme faced off against Damler Motor and Gesellschaft for the first time. Although Gottlieb Damler, the founder of the company, was no longer in the picture, his inventions and business kept providing Benz and C with competition they had never encountered before. But Carl Benz retired in 1903 and was appointed to the position of director of the board of directors. After Richard Benz, Carl Benz's second son joined the business, Benz and Cy cemented their position as a top automaker the following year, in 1904. Following the German economic crisis, Benz and Damler made the decision to merge, creating the business Damler Benz in 1926. Their combined sales quadrupled in just one year, and the name had become well-known throughout the automotive industry, so this merger proved to be a very wise choice. Only one million brand-new Mercedes vehicles with erratic stars are introduced to the market annually, but the company never intended to appeal to the masses. When Damler Benz's desire to increase his influence in the U.S. led him to merge with Chrysler at the turn of the 20th century, the Mercedes brand's elite status became especially evident. However, the Benz name was dropped from the brand name as part of the merger. However, Carl Benz's name has not vanished from human history, and it never will. People will always be curious to know who created the first car and also how he did it, and the response will always be, it was invented by Carl Benz. In general, Carl Benz led a happy life as an engineer and inventor who saw the results of his labor and was acknowledged both during and after his passing. Today, Mercedes-Benz is regarded as one of the best automakers in the world with operations spread across 13 nations and four continents. Mercedes-Benz, which offers over 90 different car models and generates over $109 billion in revenue annually, is also the second richest automotive manufacturer in the world, only behind Toyota. The rain isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and Mercedes-Benz is thriving. Now that was a whole another story. What do you think about Carl's whole journey? Leave your thoughts about this in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye!